Ooh la 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 la, ooh la 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 la, ooh la 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 la, ooh la 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 la. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Melanie Hines. I'm your faith and financial ninja. Um, and I have a lot of um, auditing experience with Price Waterhouse to, that comes to bear. I've been in this currency for 11 years and I have a unique contact. His name is Mr. Sandman coming to you from Iraq and I'm bringing you the detail here that you won't hear anywhere, hear anywhere else that I know of anyway. So this is still hitting the news. This came in at 10.02. It's 11.48. So I'm bringing you this as fast as I could. Foreign reserves in Iraq rise to $113 billion. Baghdad. The deputy governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Amah Hamad Khalif, says the Iraqis' foreign reserves, foreign reserves rose to $113 billion, driven by the rise in global oil prices, and the Iraqi news reported. During his speech at the, that the sixth edition of the Iraqi Finance Expo held at the Baghdad International Airport Fair, Khalif explained that the CBI plays a key role in the financial and economic stability, adding that 2023 is witnessing many changes that will contribute to achieving stability in Iraq. We know what that is if you listen to mine from yesterday. Go back and watch that when it was only four minutes. And it was that they said they're open for international investment. So there are many opportunities in the Iraqi economy, which is seeing growth in gross domestic product, a surplus in the general budget due to increased global oil prices and an increase in deposits in Iraqi banks. They're getting more and more people into their banks. That's good, guys. The revenues from Iraqi's oil exports have exceeded $7 billion each month during the past six months. Iraqi's oil reserves are more than 150 billion barrels, but about a quarter of the population is caught in the poverty trap, according to official data. Um, in late April, the Deputy Minister of Planning for Te Technical Affairs, Mahir Ahmed Jaman, stated that the unemployment rate in Iraq ranges between 13 and 15 percent, whereas poverty is 22 percent in a country where the population is more than 43 million. What does that mean? They're looking to help their people, guys. You need to pray for the citizens over there for this to happen so that they can, they can get some refreshment as well. And they're going to pass an oil and gas law that's going to provide them money every, every month, just like we're going to pass universal basic income here because of everything going on here. It's, it's all associated with all the things you've heard, Nassar, Jassar. You're going to want to tune into my channel. I do live with truth, facts, and optimism during coffee and conversation every morning. You're going to want to subscribe, tap the bell if you want to hear this unique information. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the lives. I love you very much. God bless. And if you, if you have fear, come here right? I do faith and finances, and I have a prophetic gift for this wealth transfer. Talk to God. He, and he also brought me this Mr. Sandman and his intel, which is amazing, and I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you. So comment down below if you like this information. If you like Mr. Sandman's intel, give him a shout out. Uh, thank him for his efforts of always sending me the hot stuff before anybody else gets it. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. See you tomorrow for live coffee and conversation. Bye.